In this lecture, we will continue talking about while loops. Using break to exit a loop. To exit a while loop immediately without running any remaining code in the loop, regardless of the results of any conditional test, use the break statement. The break statement directs the flow of your program. You can use it to control which lines of code are executed and which aren't. So the program only executes code that you want it to when you want it to. For example, consider a program that asks the user about places they have visited. We can stop the while loop in this program by calling break as soon as the user enters the quit value. So the program begins with assigning two lines of prompt to variable called prompt. So we use a while true. While true in a loop which that st starts with while true will run forever unless it reaches a break statement because always true. True is always true. So while true will always be true. So if if, if the while loop starts with the while true, the only place that can control the loop to make it stop is, is within the while loop, is, in, is within the while loop block. So, so be careful while true, while true will run forever. If, if, if in the block has no mechanism to stop it, the loop. And while true, while well, true, the program starts and always be true. So the city is available and the user will see the prompt message after, after using input function. So the user will input a city or please tell me a city you have visited and enter quit when you are finished. So user will input a city or end quit. So next is the if test. So if city is a quit, city is a quit, user input a quit, then is a break. The break, so the while loop, if you see the break inside the loop, then the whole while loop will be stopped. And the next statement after the while loop will be run. So the city, if the city is not quit, is another string representing a city, then the else statement will be run. So print, I'd love to go to city's title from city. So a loop that starts with a while true will run forever unless it reaches a break statement. And you can use the break statement in any of Python's loops. For example, you can use break to quit a full loop that's working through a list or a dictionary. So we have we have we talked about the loop through a dictionary or list in previous lectures. So the for loop, the for loop inside the for loop, you can also use a break if if like uh, like using test with an if test if if something equals something, then you can use break also in the for loop. So, so using, uh, here is using continue in a loop. So rather than breaking out of a loop entirely without executing the rest of its code, you can use the continue statement to return to the beginning of the loop based on the result of a conditional test. For example, consider a loop that counts from 1 to 10 but prints only the order numbers in that range. What this means? Because break Break. If the while loop sees a break, then the whole can, whole block will be whole while loop will be stopped. So, so the the statement after the while loop block will be executed. But continue is used here when when people do not want to break entirely the while loop, just break this run this iteration of the while loop. So we'll return to the while loop again. We'll return to the while loop again 
but only only do not only skip this iteration then we'll continue to the while loop again so can use in this situation can use continue statement so here we start with a current number is zero is the starting value zero then while current number is less than 10 we will run the while block inside the while block then first we will increase current number by one so here the in current number is one because the starting value is zero so next is a conditional test if statement if current number module 2 module remember module is the remainder of the division so if current number divided by 2 so remainder equals 0 then we continue so what it means if if current number is even number because even number so module 2 is 0 even number can divided by 2 and with the remaining remainder 0 so if it is an even number then we'll continue then we will skip this iteration we'll back to while test again so but the first first round first iteration the current number is 1 is 1 so current number so module 2 not equals 0 it equals 1 so 1 divided by 2 so remainder is 1 so this test is not true the result is not true so do not run the continue so first round first iteration we will print current number so we'll print one we'll print one so we'll back to we'll up to while while test again then current number one still less than 10 then current number increase to increase with one so current number is two now so this time current number module two is zero so it will continue so the print state print current number will be skipped in this iteration so also back to back to while current number less than 10 again so 2 also less than 10 then go into the block again then 2 is be, is increased with 1 so current number is 3 now 3 if if current number module 2 0 not 0 so 3 is not 0 so, three, so continue will not run and 3 will be printed out then back and so on so so first we set the current number to 0 because it's less than 10 Python enters the while loop so once inside the loop we increment the count by 1 so current number is 1 the if statement then checks the module of current number and the two. If the module is zero, which means current number is divided by two, the continue statement tells Python to ignore the rest of the loop and return to the beginning. And if the current number is not divisible, divisible by two, the rest of the loop is executed and the Python prints the current number. We will show all these statements in anaconda spider so see the section uh, source file python source file is section 6 user input on while loop and we go to lecture 4 using break and continue in while loops so first using break to exit a loop so prompt is a two lines prompt run this then a loop called while true while true the city will be a value with the user input and if city is quit then break the whole block break whole while loop stopped and if city is not quit value then we print i'd love to go to city we we'll run so here i have to enter a city london london so I'd love to go to London. New York. I'd love to go to New York. And I quit. I'll print quit now. Then, then finished.
and no message is printed out. So next, let us see using continue in a loop. So current value, the starting value is zero, and a while loop check current num number is less than 10, then run the while loop block. Then first the current number is increased by one, and it tests if current number is divisible by two, module is zero, is an even number, then we'll continue. Otherwise, if it is not even number, is odd number, we'll print this number. And so on, iteration of iteration, so only odd number will be printed out. Then, so only odd number, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9 are printed out.